Hey guys, welcome to FSG. Uh, today we have added the SD1 to bait. Uh, what's your name, sir? Piragos Fabi. Mm, that's interesting. Okay, uh, and uh, what, uh, what brings up to you to LDS today? Uh, it's the last tournament I would play. I I wanted to try. Let's see what happens. Look, but uh, about the tops? Uh, top eight. Mm, that's interesting. We would do next. Necros. Necros. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, what's your matchup today? Uh, I play Padozodic, Pendulum Magician, uh, Burning Abyss with the new build of Sekka. Mm -hmm. I played a very weird deck, I don't remember it. And which deck you lost? I lost, I didn't lose with that weird deck, I lost with one weird deck, I don't remember the name, it's a new one. <laughs> from Timer. And I lost against Hadozodic. Why? I, I signed, Why? Why? <laughs> I signed uh, three Denko Seca for game two. I played first, I didn't draw Denko Seca. And, and then, and then uh, turn two, he just said five cards. Okay. So. Anything in response about before going to the third part? Uh, not really. Okay. I'm satisfied. Okay, so beginning with uh, the standards, one Brion Arc, one Unicrow, I don't think I need to explain. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, it's limited. Yes. Uh, two Clausulas, I think I don't have to explain that either. It's a standard at two. And also the three Bulk, I think it's standard. So I decided to play two Trishula, not one. I just feel like I always need the second one. I always use the second effect. So, uh, you know, I will bring the one out and then use the other one again. Or just bring the one out and use the other one for target negation. Then I played a few singles. You know, it's just... Uh, now with the incantations, you can bring decisive out very easily. They both make level 10. And these are just situational. I just want to have them just in case they're very situational. So, and because of the new uh, incantation, the consistency of the deck is really good. So they're not going to really uh, break the consistency. Next, I played one of each of the uh, monsters. Again, it's just it just works perfectly because of the incantation. I won't have the I won't have bricks, and they're very situational. Like the incantation, the level four, uh, you can chip in with Exa, bring out Trish, banish, and then you uh, you get to add the decisive or catastor. And maybe go for anti K through Catastore for uh, for Exa or decisive to go over something big in addition of your punish. Uh, very simple, very easy to bring out again with a level 4 incantation uh, buff, 4 and 4, and then you get to add another buff for a Gavinir. Same with the uh, Princess. Next, uh, the standard. I decided to play four juice, not more than four, because the normal summer monsters are getting too many, and it will be just a little consistent. When I tried it with five or six, I just draw too many juice, and I wouldn't be able to go off the right way. So I played three of this one and two of this one, just because of the ratio. He comes out with a monster and I have way more ritual monsters than ritual spells. So for a turn one hand, I prefer to see him rather than him. So you believe uh, this engine is work very fair uh, against Necros? Yes, yes, it works perfectly. Like, uh, took the deck to another level. Yes. You can make decisive, yes. uh, you can combine with the level 4 Necros monsters and just get classes with this one to get uh, bumped out and then you can tribute them and enjoy them more. So it's just a ton of classes. I run a mini uh, performance engine just because he's back. I feel like he's pretty good. I, I don't think that he's bad. And then again, if I do not draw into incantations, which don't let me bring out the extra deck, I can simply just make a round pull with the hard tricker. Otherwise, I just trip with him for a ball to draw. 
So instead of MST, I decided to run an eccentric art treat. That's just because why you choose eccentric, uh, eccentric you know, for example, to use the or MST or something else. So I chose this one. Yes, I chose this one because it's just a lot more versatile. Like if my opponent doesn't have any set cards and I just have this bad boy in my hand, I'm just gonna trip him to draw with bow. So either ways he's never dead. I either use him for a small trap pop or even a master pop. But mostly he's just a way out. Like if I have an MST I can't use it. Uh, this one I can trip you to draw. I play two Raider and one Drone and Lock. Uh, only one Lock? Yeah, because I only have one. Uh, I, would, I would play three. I suppose you don't play permanent because you don't have. Yes, I would play three Drone and Lock, but I only have one. So I choose just this ratio, just a general negation to have into the deck. No watch? I don't have a Raider. <laughs> I'm, I'm very poor this format. Uh, three pre prep, I don't think I need to explain is the best card yeah, in the yeah, deck. So I just use a very standard ratio of six mirrors. Two, two, two. I mean, you can use everything. Uh, 40 cards? Yes, 40 cards. I believe it's 40. Can you show the extra side? Uh, the side deck. Or the extra deck. Okay, extra deck is very basic. I just played one lightning, uh, dire, babushka, castell. No, 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 because I just I think it's, uh, my opinion is better than the wolf, but okay, yeah. I don't know, it's just Dire Wolf is mostly here just to clean my board. So I can banish from the graveyard and just go for another kind of ritual summon. So the rest are just generic. It's just Tornado Dragon never came up for me. I prefer to use the other ones. And just the, the level for, for Kaleidoscope, very standard. And I played one of her just. This is all northern. Yeah. <laughs> just to pop if I needed to pop something with a uh, unicorn. Why only one uh, hero and not two? Uh, I. I tried it and it just never came up with this specific build. Like if you play the build with Zabwork, you need like 3-3, three, 3-3, three, three, three. but uh, I just never needed the second one because sometimes you might even use her, so if in a very rare occasion you need to summon Unicorn again, you can use Art Light. Now for the side deck, I play the very standard Creed and Cossack card. I suppose for the back row or It's mostly... Yes, it's just perfect in the deck, you don't set cards, so... I played uh, two DD Crows. Diddy Crow. mm -hmm. Interesting. Very generic. It's just against a lot, against a lot of decks. Like Burning Abyss, uh, the new second build runs the second spell trap. Spell, sorry. And they run uh, Snow in there. All these really powerful cards. And just DD Crow does the job for you. Against any deck, really. It's just all the decks revolve around Graveyard now. So I. It was really useful in the tournament. I play the kaiju stuff. Two kaijus just in case. Slumber? No slumber? No slumber. Just two kaijus. Because it's just one slumber, two kaijus. It's just not consistent. If I draw one kaiju, one slumber, what do I do? It's just a dead card, so I just wanted to go more for consistency. Um, yeah, that's it. That is. What? Next up, I play two magic. You're afraid, I suppose you're afraid that uh, two Draco. Yes, two Draco, which I did not see in the tournament. About the one million players played that mistake. So disgusting. I didn't see it. So, but you know, if there's a two Draco matchup, it's very useful. I played two Shy Knight. Sky Striker. Sky Striker, most of yes. um, Yeah, it's just mostly for Sky Striker. I wouldn't play it somewhere else. So, yeah. Two so, Pope by the Grave. Kind of the same work as uh, Diddy Crow does. You don't, you don't uh, think you need to play main this card? Because uh, this meta has played a lot of well, I, I had I had two choices, either play the Veiler and the Draw and Lock or the Call by the Grave. Okay. I chose the Veiler because if I go second, 
mostly because the deck is a second turn deck, I'll have the Veiler. Like it's gonna be dead in my hand, I'll have to wait. Necros always goes second better. And then to Cyclone, uh, this is mainly against Pendulums, like if I go against Pendulums and I'll take out the Eccentrics because they're only weak against Pendulums because you just put them in their extra deck and they can reuse them. But with the Cyclone, it's just game over for them. Okay, yes. Because the test, the profile, congrats about your uh, debates. Oh, and yeah. and we uh, hope so to see you again in the big event tournament in Cyprus or the European big event in Europe. Uh, anything uh, last words about the course uh, close this video? Uh, 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 Necros are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, bye bye. bye. bye.